Hi everyone, it's Debbie with Life with Debbie. Uh, welcome if you are new here and welcome back if you are one of my wonderful subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you very, very much. Um, right now we are going to be doing our planner check-in and um, you're going to see I did not... I did not do as well as I wanted. Um, let me get to where we were. Okay, so this is the past week. Um, I did check off a few things on Monday. Um, I believe I, oh, excuse me. I worked on a, I think, I don't even remember what I worked on. <laughs> It's beside the point. And then this one, I set everything up, and then I sat on the phone with my mom for over three hours. We were designing um, her new truck that she wants to get. Um, and then we have, I was outside. Um, I did yard work. I did not do any of my inside stuff. This one, I did close on Thursday, and that was about it. Oh, that's because I got the the new horse ranch um, expansion pack for Sims 4. So yeah, I did close and then um, I played on that. And then Friday, hubby came home early. I did not get to film and I did not do chores. He came home early and surprised me. I love that. So um, I did have my planner time, but I didn't put, as you can see, I didn't put the weather in or anything. Yesterday, we... Um, not yesterday. Oh my gosh. Saturday, we took and um, we had a lot of yard waste built up and um, we took all that to the dump and then we had some other trash stuff, not um, not like garbage from like your kitchen or whatever, but like big item stuff that needed to go, um, needed to get thrown out that, you know, it should have been done a while ago and it wasn't. So that stuff went, uh, the pool liner and, and stuff like that. We took all that in and, and got rid of that. And um, so then that was that. And then it ended up raining. So uh, there was no more outside. But for some reason, I decided I wasn't doing anything inside either. So, you know, it is what it is. And then um, yesterday, I did film because hubby had to do collection counting. So I drove home from church and I filmed for you guys, which you will be seeing that today. And then when I picked him up, we had to get birthday gifts, and then we had to go to my great niece's birthday party. I filled in this, and like I said, mood-wise, was a great week, but doing things not so good. So now we are going to flip back here, and we have our gratitude filling in nicely. Loving this. Loving, loving, loving it. I'm not even kidding you. I, I love it. And then we have this week for our um readings and rosary as you can see i missed two days of reading and i actually missed three days of rosary and um i'm very disappointed in myself and that it is not going to happen again um i i love doing my rosary every day i i feel so much better when i do my rosary and my daily readings every day um, I prefer to do them in the morning, so that is what will be done from now on. Um, the, to the best of my ability, I will be doing them in the morning, and if I can't, they will be done at night. We were doing good, and, and I we would shut TV off and everything um, by like 8.30, I think it was. If, you know, I hadn't done my rosary and my readings, I would shut it off. You know, we would just put it on the news or whatever, and then I would do my rosary we take the dogs out at nine, I'd come in, you know, come back in from that, get into my PJs and do my readings. Um, and I like that, but I like doing it in the morning when, you know, uh, hubby's at work because I like saying it out loud. Um, and when he's home, I, you know, of course say it quietly. So it's not out loud like I would prefer to have. So anyways, um, that's not going to happen again. It's going to be done. So and then we have um, our mood checker back here. You could see some sloppiness. I did change the sad color to sick. And then I made, I had, because 
that seasonal surprise box, those markers, there were six of them, and this is the color I didn't use, so I decided to use that color for sad. I just wrote it in there. Um, not a big deal. That way I don't have to write sick in there and then have it smear like it did. Um, this sticker paper cracks me up because it just it just spreads, <laughs> it bleeds. Um, so that is it for the agenda for the check-in. And now let's bring in our horizontal, our seven by nine. And of course, yes, I am still doing my gratitude in here also. And let me get here. And then we have our journaling. So this is something that is really, really working out for me. And um, I really like it. And um, I liked when I sit down over here at night, that's when I like to do it. I know uh, Mama Ree, uh, Rhiannon asked me when I, you know, journal during the day. And um, I love how this is just filling in. Um, but she asked me in the comment and I like to do it um, at night. Because then that way I can put whatever happened during the day, I can put that down in there. Um, this all is still working really well for me. As you can see, like right here, I really didn't have that much that, you know, went on. Um, so I didn't, you know, I don't feel like I have to fill a whole page, which is what's nice. And then there's times like I have went on this bottom line right here, you know, which... <coughs> <clears throat> sorry guys but I like that I, you know I don't feel the need to fill a whole page with something and then that kind of gets discouraging I like that I can just put what happened that day or how I felt or why I put what I put on the gratitude um I like that so this is perfect for me and when I was telling my mom about it she wants to you know, see how it's laid out and stuff too. And, um, she's thinking about doing it cause she mainly wants to journal. <clears throat> and I think she gets discouraged having a whole page. She feels like she has to fill up a whole page, you know, for one day. And, and this is nice cause it's just, it, it's enough room. I've had the A5 and it's not as much room. I like the seven by nine. Um, so I'm really looking forward to being in this for a while. Um, but yeah, that's our check-in. I don't have anything else, I don't believe, that we check in with. Um, I think that is all of it. I um, These are short videos. I do, I hope you guys don't mind that I do this. I really like checking in with you guys. It holds me accountable. Um, it makes me... Um, not want to have blank pages in my planner. Now I'm working on the let's check off that list. So that's one of my um, my mental goals this week is to um, when I do my planner check in a week from today, which because today is Monday the 24th, that I can say I had productive days. You know, I checked off a lot of stuff. Saturdays and Sundays, I don't really do that much. I do want to make sure that I um, do my five basic um, chores, you know, which is, you know, like make the bed, um, the girl's eyes, wiping my dog's eyes, um, doing a litter box, washing dishes, and um, sweeping the floors. Those five things are the only thing I do on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I don't do any cleaning in the house at all. Um, it is, you know, a day of rest. So that's why I don't, I don't do anything on that day. I used to, before starting to go to church and learning everything, um, I used to try to do, even on Sundays, you know, just those five basic things. But um, I don't do that anymore. And I, I have no plans on it, not even making the bed because the hubby takes a nap or whatever. Um, that's just our, our nice little routine that we have now on Sundays. We come home, we put on sweats or shorts or whatever, you know, bum and clothes, and we sit around and do nothing. You know, we have peanut butter and jelly sandwich as soon as we come home from church, and then maybe some popcorn or something later and, you know, towards evening, because we're not really that hungry, hungry, but we get snacks. Um, but he usually takes a nap, and it just, it works out, you know. Um, it's our nice, relaxing 
do nothing day. And uh, so anyways, I want to get back to doing, you know, keeping up with the house six days a week. I used to always do my yard work twice a week. Um, so this week's mental goal, I didn't even write it down. Maybe I should have, but I didn't, is to um, concentrate on checking off my to-do list um, before I, you know, do anything else. Play my Sims 4 or sit and watch YouTube videos or whatever. I need to concentrate on getting the stuff on my to-do list done and um, and then go from there. So that's my goal for next week. Um, hopefully I can stick to it. Anyways, <laughs> um, I am going to end this here and um, I will have both the agenda, my inserts, and my horizontal, 7x9 horizontal. Well, it's just a, the life plan will planner the horizontal um i will have all of that linked down below um the the uh the mood tracker i made my i made that myself um so i can't link that but anyways i will link everything that i can down below uh they will be affiliate links because i am an Aaron Condren affiliate and all that means is that if you choose to use that link to purchase anything I do earn a small commission. It does not change your shopping experience, but I do earn a small commission. And um, just so you know, ahead of time, I greatly appreciate it. It it really helps a lot because um, I can kind of contribute, you know, if people use that link and I can earn some money off of that. I can contribute to, you know, buying my own stuff instead of having to, you know, have hubby always buy it for me and then feeling bad because I'm asking for another pin or something <laughs> silly like that. But anyways, um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps with the, um, YouTube algorithm. And, um, if you are not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I have a goal of hitting 300 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, and I would love it if you would help me get there. Um, and to all my wonderful subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back and supporting me. And um, I guess I will be seeing you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a beautiful week. And um, anyone who's living where they're getting hit with that 100, you know, above 100 degree weather, um, stay cool, stay safe. Um, and I will see you guys all in the next video. God bless. Bye.